It's a Farm Journal for September 6th, 2019. Well, good morning. Welcome to Eagle Isle Farm and the Serene Disciple Project. Uh, I've just come in from outside. We're here in the sunroom, which is undergoing renovation at the moment. Some, some much needed changes to make it an even brighter, happier room. Well, I thought today I would take a look at, and you can come with me and take a look at with me, uh, what has become of all the babies of spring. And so we'll look at what has become of the piglets and the ducklings and a couple of batches of chickens. And so if you'd like to, if you'd like to see what's happened, come along. Let's go outside and take a look. The first of the spring's babies came early. Here is a little bitty piglet on January 28th on a cold night. Uh, here he is just minutes after being born. And here he is literally 10 minutes later. Mama and babies rested comfortably once they were all born. Uh, and here is one of the piglets a couple of mornings later. Now, I'm often asked, what are those things hanging from the neck of the pig? Well, those are what give the red wattle pig its name. Those are the red wattles, and they serve no purpose that anyone has ever been able to figure out. Well, what do those little bitty cute babies look like now? Here's the female piglet that I was holding in the last picture, and she's not quite as cute as she was, but looks a lot more porky. And here are the other piglets, the two male piglets. They're not as cute unless you think about bacon. Mmm, they're about halfway to freezer camp at about 80 pounds now. On February 22nd, we started a round of white Cornish hens, uh, which are meat birds. And how did they turn out? Well, you know, pretty good plump and juicy. They were meat birds after all. Welcome to the reality of agriculture. On March 14th we had another baby born, but not in the barnyard. Welcome to granddaughter baby Mia. That same day we started a round of chicks that we thought were dark Cornish meat birds, but turned out to be silver-laced Wyandotte. And how did they turn out? Well, here they are today. Very pretty birds. Not bad at all. <coughs> On March 28th, we found a nest of duck eggs. About 28 days later, give or take, we had ducklings. Aw, ducklings are cute. And how did the ducklings turn out? From right to left are the two surviving ducklings, and then mama duck, and then some of the daddy ducks. On May 19th, three goats came to the farm who were probably about eight weeks old at the time. And here they are this morning, really still small goats. The male is about to jump up on me. Now I don't have baby pictures for these guys, but here is a group of Plymouth Bard Rocks that have decided that they live with the pigs. Well, I'm back inside now. Thanks for taking a look at the babies with me. I'm just about done with this video. You can see my video editing screen behind me. I wanted to point out, if you hadn't noticed, that when we looked at the pictures of the babies today, in most cases there were significantly fewer of them. And this is a natural process. Uh, this is the process where the weak and the sick are weeded out, leaving us with a, with a stronger, healthier uh, set, of, set of livestock on the farm. And that's kind of the way life works, too. And that's something to think about. wonder what in my life has been weeded out that at the time I mourned as a tragedy, but really, in hindsight, turned out to be something that needed to be left behind in order to leave the healthy and the strong. Hmm, that really is something to think about. Well, I think that's enough for today. We'll see you next time. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, and give.
You call it Egret Isle Farm, but the egrets never get any screen time. What's with that? I'm out of here.